Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the Bi Weekly Contest 67. Donate the maximum bombs. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. Um, so, this one, I thought it was a little bit odd. Um, I end up taking about seven minutes. So, actually, I was a little bit slow on this one, slower than I would have liked. Um, I just had a lot of sluggish typos. Um, if you watch, my video, uh, my live portion of the video, which is coming up next uh, after the explanation, um, you'll see that I just have a lot of different typos. But but the reason why I thought this one was weird because um, N is very small. N is only 100. I, I wonder why that is. Uh, maybe it's so that Python has a good chance. Um, hmm, to be honest, not quite sure. But you could have... Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure about this one. Uh... Because you could have also done, there are a couple of algorithms that you could have done. Um, and the way that I did it is by just brute force in a way, which is a little bit odd. So that's why, uh, and because 100 is a little bit odd. So you could also have done, um, you actually could have done Void, uh, Void, Void Warshaw. Uh, algorithm, uh, or or actually not Floyd Walshaw, uh, just Walshaw's algorithm for transitive closure, um, and and that will probably give you the answer as well. Um, so yeah, so but I'll show you the way that I did it. Um, so let me, let me so you can also done Walshaw's algorithm. Oops, that's not the way that I did it. Uh, so but this is something that you can research if you like. Um, but the way that I did it is also brute force, but with a breath first search. So first. Same as we have done with the Walsh's algorithm, we construct the actual graph using an edge list. And we probably could have done it with, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think you can also use an adjacency matrix, but um, but this is the way that I end up doing. Um, and, and yeah, and of course, this is going to be all of n square edges at the worst, or, you know, um, and this is just very basic geometry. I was... To be honest, a little bit scared when I saw the diagrams that there's going to be more complicated geometry. Uh, but that said, I did get this formula wrong like three times. Uh, and you can see in the video, I just kind of have typos and get the signs wrong. It was very embarrassing. Uh, and you can see the embarrassment live. Um, but but definitely, you know, uh, be able to do, come up with this formula. Um, so definitely check that out. But basically, I just go, and remember that in this case is asymmetric, right? Meaning that if uh, bomb I can detonate bomb J, the the reverse is not true um, because the ranges are different, right? Meaning that, because um, if that, that was true, then, you know, uh, there would be a different problem. But, but, uh, but yeah, but as a result, um, you have this O of E graph, which is uh, where E could be V square. Um, and then I just did a brute force thing of, okay, for each one, let's say we detonate this bomb, uh, what, how many things can we get? And for that, we solve for um, breath first search. Um, and of course, this is going to be all of, all of V plus E, um, where E can be E can be V squared, right? Depending on, like, if, if all the radius is radii's, hmm. well, the radii's are, are very huge, um, then this could be V square, right? So, and then here there's an O of V loop. So this is going to be V, oops, iterations. So this is going to be O of V to the cube at the worst case. Um, and of course, like I said, in that case, you could have also done Walshaw's Walsh algorithm. Um, but yeah, but technically this is O of V square, uh, uh, times v e, which maybe is faster than v cube for for um, for for graphs that are not as complete, um, but the constants are higher, right? Because we're using q and set and all these fancy stuff. But basically, this is a very basic uh, breadth first search in terms of graph discovery on a directed graph. So definitely be very familiar with it. Um, and the constraints are make small enough that you can do it this way. I want to be to do it better. Um, I think maybe there are ways you can do with respect to uh, dynamic programming or something like this. Like you could, you could do because uh, here uh, I did it with breadth first search. You could do it with depth first search. Uh, also, maybe with dynamic programming. I don't know if that would really work um, because this is not a DAG. Um, because I don't know. 
I haven't really thought that through, so let me know what, how you, um, if you did it another way from the two that I described, which is Warsaw and the Breath for Search. Um, but yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think that's what I have. Uh, and in terms of space, this is going to be uh, O of Yi, where Yi is the number of edges, which can be V square, as we said. So, yeah. Um, that's the number. Uh, yeah. We'll write it down. Worst case. But yeah. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And you could watch me solve it during the contest next. And you can see all those embarrassing typos. Uh, yep. And really behind, falling behind. Geometry palm, huh? focus. Okay, so what is N? And it's a hundred. Why is it C plus plus? Did I did something? Hmm. It's a tag. But this is a problem many people have done before, probably, so that's why. Okay, and now we just have to do.
Mm. Oops, wow. I am really off today. That's a silly thing. Hmm. Okay. Oh, whoops. Wow, I am really off today. At least it's, it's wrong in a good way. Hmm. Okay, uh, at least it's wrong again. And not eating a penalty. But 0 to 1, 5, 9, 9, 8. Oh. Is this thing? Oh, whoops! Wow, I just got the signs wrong. How how is the other thing right then? Nine, yep. Sixteen. How, how am I not familiar with the distance formula? Come on, Larry. Why is this wrong? One plus that's four. Why is it 17? Oh, wow. What a typo. Uh, uh. Okay. I mean, at least I have the typo on. Uh. Wow. I'm really off today. Aren't I? Uh, okay. That looks good. Come on, friends. Okay. Hey, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord, especially if you like these contest farms. There are a lot of smart people there, campaign solutions. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, take a mental health. I'm Tino Explorer. Bye-bye.